by taking a breath and another and a longer exhale. Two inhales and an exhale. If you want a simple and scientifically proven, super quick practical tool to go from fear to relaxation, from stress to calm, adopt this new method. It is called the physiological sigh. The physiological sigh is two inhales and one exhale. The exhale should be longer than the two inhales together. Two inhales, one exhale. These pathways between the amygdala and hypothalamus and the respiratory network is how we're able to manage our emotions with our respiratory behavior. So our respiratory system, our breath, which happens automatically, but we can also control, monitors state changes in our brain and can affect our emotions directly, quickly, simply, and it's nothing woo-woo, it's scientifically. I'm in a moment of stress or tension, I do one or two physiological size. Two, if I'm really stressed out. Another fun thing is that I found that it really helps me when I'm doing endurance jogging. If I'm doing any sort of endurance activity. I've always found endurance activities to be the most challenging, like going on long jogs, which is why I like to do it because obviously that's kind of my weak spot. But I often feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen. So I found that in those moments that I feel a little too challenged while I'm running, if I do that physiological sigh, it really helps because I, it must be because it's balancing that carbon dioxide and oxygen in my blood and lungs, um, which puts less stress on my body altogether. Because the second inhale that you do is when you're filling up all those little lung sacs and that's how you're balancing the carbon dioxide with the oxygen. I recommend that in moments of stress and tension and you know that this is not the time that I need to feel stress, this is not the time that I need to be tense, you can do that. You can also do it in moments like when you are running and you're feeling like, I can't breathe. The sigh is important for our day-to-day -day activities. It also helps keep us alive. I didn't go into that part. There are ascending and descending pathways between our amygdala and our respiratory network, which includes the diaphragm. The amygdala in our brain links emotions to our respiratory system. Another critical structure in our brain which links and regulates emotion and respiratory is the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus releases a neuromodulator called orexin. Orexin has a strong modulatory role in activating size. So this plays a critical role in activating the cardiorespiratory system for flight or fight response. So the sigh plays an important role in balancing us. The sigh of relief, for instance, signals a behavioral state change from fear to relaxation. With our diaphragm, we're communicating to our brain that now we can go from fear to relaxation, from sympathetic to parasympathetic. In today's age, we are in fight or flight response way more than we need to be. The ability to actually switch from sympathetic to parasympathetic and backwards to be able to go back and forth between arousal and relaxation is the key to being a well-functioning, healthy human being. And breath is actually the way that we can do that. By physiologically doing something, we can affect our mind. Call it a day and celebrate. Let's celebrate.